This video is sponsored by War Thunder. More on that later. RuneScape is a game where you mine, woodcut, fish, smith. You build your skills. You work hard like an honest, God-fearing Christian man. And through perseverance and diligence, you build your fortune. But not me. We ain't doing any of that shit. Today, we're gonna steal, we're gonna kill, and we're gonna cheat. We're gonna beat RuneScape by being the biggest piece of shit imaginable. Hello, my name is Nine Rain, and welcome to Rogue's Journey. So this is basically the Skyrim sneak build of RuneScape, where you use a bow, you use your agility and stealth, and you're just an overall piece of crap to everybody. Now I've been cooking on this build for a long time now, but the thought of grinding on some bullshit restricted account hurt my soul. So I put it away for a rainy day. And then Jagex released this, Trailblazer Leagues version two. Now again, this wasn't just normal leagues. This was fucking broken click once and steal a kingdom leagues. It's basically RuneScape with boosted XP and drop rates, but most importantly, there's a skill tree. They're called relics, but it's basically a skill tree that allows you to upgrade your account in really unique and broken ways. And we're going to do that. So we started as any good adventurer does in Lumbridge. Now the start to this account was pretty simple and we're going to blow through it pretty quickly. Now in RuneScape, there are 23 different stats you can train, but not me. I have 10, the seven combat stats, and then agility, thieving, and slayer, or as I call them, sneaking, stealing, and killing. In leagues, you start off with five rune crafting and three herblore. So we're just going to pretend those are level one. The first thing we did when we spawned in was choose the trickster relic, which gave us these neat little shoes that train our agility just by running around, and which also gave us the ability to pickpocket NPCs without failing, and without having to click again, basically ever. Now, to unlock more of the tech tree and get the build rolling, I pickpocketed men until level 38, at which point I pickpocketed master farmers until level 40. Then I clicked on a guard and went and watched a movie, and pretty soon we had 85 thieving, and we could pickpocket elves. For those of you who are not that familiar with RuneScape, I must stress to you the absurdity of this statement. I I barely have 85 thieving on my main account, and it has taken me four years. In happy fun click once runescape steal steal land, this took me a day, and like five clicks. So anyways, we were off to pickpocket some elves, but in order to do so, I needed to get into Privdenas, the land of the elves. The way you unlock regions in this game mode is by doing a certain number of tasks, and, well, by simply stealing from every poor son of a bitch we passed in Gilinor, running around on a few houses, and doing random stuff that wouldn't get us any non-combat XP, we were able to get enough points and enough tasks to unlock two more relics in our first area. The first of the two relics gave us an amulet that basically gives you every teleport in the game, and the second lets us purchase any item from a shop for free, basically. I don't know why they put that in there, but they did. And so here we are, charming enough to convince any shopkeeper to simply hand over the goods or else. Obviously, the first region we unlocked was Elfland, and with the bustling town of Bredenas finally unlocked, we were finally ready to appropriate enough gold, crystals, and trinkets to fund a small army or a large one. And so we did. I downloaded RuneScape on my phone, clicked on an elf, and one D&D session later, we were ready to begin our combat only, piece of shit locked, limited game mode Iron Man. And there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Uh, you might be wondering, Nine Rain, why are we starting with 99 Thieving? Well, this is a bit of a special journey that I'm gonna walk you guys through. My goal with Trailblazers is never to compete with everybody else. I just wanna break the game and do something fun or unique or maybe both. We're unlocking another relic, Archer's Embrace. It basically halves the attack tick rate for every ranged weapon. You save a bunch of ammunition and our ranged accuracy is increased by 100. Confirm Archer's Embrace. <sighs> Yes. Okay, sick. I have not mapped out this entire game mode, so this is going to be a journey for you and I both. And I actually thought that it would be more fun that way to kind of learn on the way down and try to problem solve as we go. And we're going to be heavily locked out of probably most tasks and most quests and a lot of activities just because we can't get experience. We have a couple basic magic and ranged items. We have everything I got from stealing from the elves. We have everything I got from stealing from Master farmers. And then when I got fire sale, I ran around buying random shit around the shops in Pritinas. So all of this stuff was free. But other than that, our bank is empty, our inventory is empty, and these are the stats. Total level 319. Since I was AFK thieving so much, I set another goal for myself, and that goal was to download War Thunder, baby! I told you this was sponsored by War Thunder. Let's go! Guys, War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made, and it's available now for free on PC and consoles. Take command of over 2,500 tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships of the 10 major nations, ranging from the biplanes and armored cars of the 1920s to the fighter jets and main battle tanks of today. Guys, when you're tired of the grind in RuneScape and your character's just standing there shooting the same thing over 
and over. You can immerse yourself in the intense combat of War Thunder, where incredibly detailed vehicles, realistic graphics, and authentic sound effects place you right at the helm of the most powerful war machines of our time. Like that thing that the gnomes have, where they're, they're fighting the humans, and it's basically that, but but better. You can join a worldwide community of over 70 million players. Holy crap, that's way more than we have in RuneScape. Ah! In epic PvP battles today and delve into the breathtaking experience that is War Thunder. With an unmatched wealth of high quality content to discover, there's simply no game better suited for fans of military history. Unless, of course, your military history is that of Gilinor, in which case that might be the only exception. Anyways. My favorite part is the comprehensive customization system. With countless camouflages and historical markings, it's basically fashionscape which you know me kind of my thing guys you can play war thunder for free on pc playstation or xbox right now by using my link in the pinned comment or video description new and returning players that haven't played in six months will also receive a massive bonus pack that includes multiple premium vehicles the exclusive vehicle decorator eagle of valor 100,000 silver lions you'd have to pickpocket all day to get something like that and seven days of premium account it's available for a limited time only so be quick and so i set off to explore the lands of Pridinas. the sun was shining the the lanterns were shining, the, the trees were, were also shining. Anyways, the Skyrim sneak build couldn't be complete without becoming a master archer. And in order to train my ranged levels, I was gonna need some supplies. Good thing we had taken the fire sale relic and this chick was gonna give it all to me for free. Hmm, yes, these should do nicely. With gear in hand, er, uh, backpack. With gear in both hand and backpack, we teleported to Edgeville to talk to Crystalia, who was wearing a Santa hat. Oh yeah, I recorded all of this in December. Anyways, she gave us our first layer task, zombies. The perfect task for a new adventurer like me. Oh, I'm hunting zombies. Okay, well we're gonna go kill 28 zombies, get our combat levels up, and then hopefully come up with some kind of a specific game plan as to how I'm gonna get my magic in range to- What the f- Oh my god, it's- it's too tall, it won't fit on my screen. Uh, it, well, Anyways, and then hopefully come up with a, some kind of specific game plan as to get my stats up and get to the gauntlet as soon as possible. Okay, my first time attacking in leagues with the Archer's Embrace Relic. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Okay, the damage is not bad. We're 26 ranged, and I guess we're just gonna kill a couple zombies, we'll see. At 30, we can go Addy Arrows and a Maple Short Bow, and then 40, we'll go to Rune Arrows and a U. So I guess I'll see you guys in like a couple zombie kills when we have leveled up. Okay, we're gonna need to sort out a food source. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. Uh, we're really gonna need to get some food. Okay, all right, don't go anywhere, zombies. Okay, there's a food shop in Privdinas, so we're gonna go see what kind of shit they are selling there. I can't cook any of my own food. Food, obviously. So we're gonna be kind of stuck to whatever the game offers us in terms of drops or whatever we can find in shops. There might also be a shop on Karamja. Maybe the food shop in Brimhaven? Yeah. We're gonna check that one out. I think they might have some food there. Trade Alf Alphonse Alphonse the waiter. Holy shit. No way. Yes, dudes. We have cooked caramwans. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you guys b back here when I've got like a thousand of these, and then we're gonna go kill some zombies. Okay, well, we got like 800, that's enough. I think we can just go boom, and we're back in... Oh, wait, we came here first. Shit. If you thought the life of an adventurer was cool and glamorous, you'd be wrong. For here we are, back in a fucking sewer. How many times have you ever been in a sewer fighting for your life? Anyways, as you can see, we've reached 25 combat, 32 ranged, and by merely equipping new weapons and armor, we're continuing to get league points. This is pretty important because we're going to need to work our way further down the skill tree eventually. Oh, look, another level. God, I am glad I did this during leagues and not in the main game. And so Nynaeve continued shooting zombies, a lot of them. Also, that's her name, by the way, the, the character. I don't think I've said that in the video yet, so uh, here's me saying that. Good storytelling, me. We continued growing stronger. Oh, and that 40 attack, by the way, we got from doing the Vampire Slayer quest. I think I forgot to mention that, too. So, that's two strikes for me. Uh, so. We completed the Slayer task. Talk to this badass-looking guy who, for some reason, despite being one of the strongest warriors in all of Gilinor, hangs out in the fucking sewers all day. And he asked us to kill 57 spiders. I was happy to oblige. Getting Slayer levels would give us access to higher-level monsters, more tasks for League points, and was a good excuse to train some more. Okay, the final spider. We have 150 Slayer points? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, well, I guess we're gonna get a rune pouch pretty quick, because, god, that 
My inventory is fucked. Did it auto-complete Dragon Slayer? It did. Wait a minute. Jewelry. Edgeville. Guys, that means that this dude over here, what's his name? Oziak. Does he sell me rune play body, green dehyde body, anti-dragon shield? We won't be able to wear these until we get 40 defense, but I'm pretty sure we can go to the champions guild. Am I allowed in? What's the requirement? How am I allowed in? Is it 30 combat? Is it that easy to get in here? Okay. Uh, trade Scavo. Okay. There's the chaps and the van braces and a coif. Holy shit. That, okay. The coif is a no-go. We're dropping the coif. That's not happening. Actually, I think I need it for a clue scroll. Is there anything else this guy can give me that I need? A rune sword. Um, buy one rune sword. Sick. And that's a task. Equip a rune weapon. Okay, it's time to go get uh, another Slayer task. Oh my god. No. Oh, look at all the bones. Oh, look at all the bones in the bodies. Oh god. Surely at some point they will run out of goblins. But for now, we shoot. I was sent here on a Slayer task by Sewer Guy. Um, thankfully goblins have yet to learn how to hop over this fence. And even if they did, uh, they don't stand a chance, obviously. We have gotten 20 defense. I can now wear this beautiful looking studded leather body. Look at that. I am training on long range, which means I shoot one tile further. But more importantly, we're getting both ranged and defense experience. Just because I'm a sneaky rogue doesn't mean I want to die. So ranged and defense it is. So day after day we trained, killing goblins, hill giants, and other various lesser creatures. 40 defense allowed us to wear our full green dragon hide armor, but also gave us access to full rune, which we had purchased with the fire sail relic, and which would make training melee stats viable. Not only did melee stats mean more access to league points, but during these long hours slaving away in the shit streets of Eric Sewers, a goal had materialized before me. I was going to go to the Corrupted Gauntlet and defeat the Crystalline Hunla. Now, for those of you who have been following my main series, you know well the memories of woe and terror that place evokes. Why would I choose to subject myself to that torture on a fake game mode that would be deleted in not but a week? I don't know. Perhaps if I can hold the Bofa just once, as ephemeral as it may be, it will give me the courage to continue onwards. Probably not. Welcome back to the sewers. Stinky as always. And my max hit is now a 7. Nynaeve is on some serious gear, and as such, my strength level is now 31. Men fear me. I will now finish the Slayer task, and then I've got a plan. We're gonna go do some League tasks and get some Mage gear, and then continue training Slayer, but with the power of magic and friendship but mostly just magic. Hello, everybody. We just finished up a nice little spider task at the ham hideout, so I thought I would come over here, kill this lesser demon, and... And it seems I've already done this task, so we're just gonna leave now. <laughs> Oh wait, I've just remembered, there's a task to equip the wizard hat and robe, so I guess now's as good a time as any to do something like that. And we should probably fight these guys with this. All right, well, I'm gonna kill some of these wizards who have no doubt spent their entire lives studying the schools of magic and perfecting the art, um, and who probably live and work in this tower. And we're just gonna kill them for, uh, for points. So, sorry about that, guy. Hey, blue wizard robe. Okay, now time for the hat. And actually, you know what? This is gonna be our best in slot mage gear. I've just realized. Uh, we don't have access to the wizarding guild to get mystics, because that's in Kandarin, so, hey, this is actually gonna be, <laughs> this is actually worth doing for more than just points you know what wizards your life your lives and your studies were not i mean i don't know that this makes this whole killing them thing feel any better um but at least we're gonna get some best in slot gear out of this all of the alumni they came home it was homecoming they're like yes we shall i've lived a long life of seventy-seven thousand years i shall live another seventy-seven thousand more and kill an awful we are eternal us wizards we who practice magic oh fuck oh is that an arrow oh shit my weakness uh boo. my brother are you okay oh, oh god oh run away i'll destroy him with the magic i've been studying for seven thousand years Ooh. and and what is it all for a hat. I need a wizard hat for a task in a limited game mode. <laughs> it's, for, <laughs> it's just for points. And it's not even a lot of points. It's a small amount of points. Yep. Ten, I think. <laughs> God, these wizards are so fucked. F I shot him twice. Oh, the five and nine double arrow Legolas, that motherfucker. Oh, shit. Well, there it is. The hat. Guess we'll 
Ooh, we'll put these bad boys on. Oh, 40 points. Never mind. This was all I was way wrong. Holy shit. And look, they're respawning. It's fine. Everything's fine. This is not a morally problematic. And so the days crept by, spurred onwards by a dream of holding the bow of fur, <laughs> the bow of Phythenine. We trained, occasionally crawling out of the stinking depths to kill cows or resupply at a bank. Slayer task after slayer task, our stats grew. We got 57 agility just by running around with these magical shoes on. And soon enough, we had had enough magic to use blast spells. Holy shit. We just cast a blast spell and reach total level 500. Okay. In most Trailblazer videos, it's probably not a big deal every time you get a task, but on this account where we're locked out of like 70% of them or more. Uh, it's a big deal. So look at that. Cast a blast spell, reach total level 500. We're still doing more Slayer. We got Slayer level 41. I've decided to use a bit of magic, get that level up. We'll unlock some teleports and I want access to high level alchemy while we're running around because it basically turns any activity into potential magic training and a lot of GP with fire sales. So anyways, reach 50 combat. Yo, I just hit 50 combat. I'm a god. Wait, that's actually, that's big. That's 40 points. Okay, only... <laughs> Only 1,200 till the next relic. Yeehaw. <laughs> Behold, this is me, Tim Fracco. <laughs> Dude, British people really don't know what black people are like at all. <laughs> don't know the <laughs> no. first thing about them. We find cause there's a lot of black dudes in like London. Plenty. From different parts of the world. Yeah, somehow they made it over to London. I think I know how. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Black Betty would be a pretty sick RuneScape name. People would just walk up to you and be like, whoa. <laughs> 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 that should not have laughed as hard as it did. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, my body and tits and ass. Okay, behold gamers with these two bones. I should shove them in the ground, and we have 30 prayer, which means I don't have to bury any more bones. Oh look, 55 magic. That unlocks high-level alchemy, which also gives me a way to train magic while doing practically anything else in the game. So we're probably not going to be killing monsters with magic for very much longer. And thank God, because this range where like crushes these monsters so much faster than magic was. We're shooting moss giants, and then we're going to walk right over here to Vanaka. Vanaka? Whatever the fuck his name is. And we're going to get another task. Oh, don't mind me. I am simply collecting hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of rune plate skirts. Uh, we're just breaking the game. I'm going to want something that I can high alk while I run around and train other skills. And so therefore, I'm going to buy, I don't know how many rune plate skirts. We're going to buy a couple hundred of these for a couple hundred high alks while we're training other stuff. And then maybe, dude, if I'm sweaty enough, I think I'll be able to high alk in between shots so we can train magic and ranged and get like a billion dollars all at once. I'm really enjoying breaking this game. This is actually a lot of fun. Oh, hey, look, and high alchemy is a task. Okay, well, there's 40 points. Ah, yes, and let the efficiency scape begin. High level alchemy, we are going to make a lot of money. 520 XP per cast? Okay, that's pretty good, too. And look, if I do it at the right time, I'm pretty sure we can shoot this motherfucker and shoot and then click. Yeah, no time lost. Holy shit. Okay, yeah, the XP is flying in. Oh, clue scroll back for beginners like me. Behold, guys, I've just learned something. Look, attack Harpy Bugswarm. Zero, 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 zero. Okay, look, clearly I fucked up. You can't hurt these guys. And it, uh, let me tell you a little bit about the Harpy Bugswarm. Look here. You need a lit bug lantern to kill them, which requires fire making of 33 delight. It has to be lit. And then look at this. If you do not have 33 fire making, you cannot be assigned Harpy Bugswarm as a slayer task. <laughs> oh, well, 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 well. Zero fire making experience. We are level one and we got assigned Harpy Bugswarms. I guess the checks that they had for that do not apply in leagues. So we actually have to go back to a slayer master and skip this task so here's the first skip and kill moss giants yes okay i actually fucking love the moss giants that was super chill better than the hill giants i don't know if there's any other like skilling level requirements for tasks like that but i have a feeling we're gonna be running into a lot of stuff like that while playing this account oh and <laughs> i might as well be turning these play skirts into fucking stacks which we have four mil in cash now so life is good hello at this point in my journey i am not feeling overly rogue 
sluggish. Mostly just a little bit stinky. Very rich. Maybe a little deadly. We've killed hundreds of zombies, hill giants, moss giants. And now, as I have obtained a slayer level high enough, my journey takes me to another stinky cave. Ah yes, the Eorwith dungeon. And behold, my prey, the Bloodveld, a disgusting creature with the musculature of a... Like a, like a skinless hippo in a, in a big old nasty tongue. We have to kill 171 of these and they have like three times the health of a moss giant. So even with my fully automatic short bow, this is likely going to take many hours. But that's nothing new for me. All I know is to kill or be killed. To steal or be stolen from. Anyways, my goal is simple enough. I will grow stronger. I will learn to survive in these barren wastes. And I will go to the corrupted gauntlet and claim what is rightfully mine. And so we continued our journey of being a piece of shit. There were still treasures to steal, relics to unlock, powerful weapons to obtain, and a lot left to do in Rogue's journey. This whole experience has been both shittier and better than I anticipated, and I'm excited to see what Gilinor has in store for us in the future. But that's for another episode, so hit the little subscription button and I'll see you there. Or, conversely, if you like this video, I'm currently live over on kick.com forward slash nine rain. Come say hi. Again, thanks to War Thunder for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to play for free on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox now by using my link in the pinned comment or video description. New and returning players that haven't played in six months will also receive a massive bonus pack across all platforms, including multiple premium vehicles and other goodies. It's available for a limited time, so go check it out. Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. What's up? Can you put it, can you put it like a tiny Easter egg for me in this video? Yeah, what do you want? Can you, can you, can you pit that dog? <laughs> The, oh my god. Can you pet that you dog? Want, you want me to pet that dog? I want you to pet that, dog. that dog. Okay. Who's a good doggy? Uh, all right. Uh, there you Can go. Pet that dog. Yeah, it's just stupid.